As a face or faceless YouTuber, imagine how much you get done if you had another day in the week. Well, I've designed a creative workflow on Notion that does exactly that. We know this because we measured it. I save one hour on pre-production, two hours on script writing, four hours in production and editing, and two hours on training. And not just for me, but for my whole team. There's five of us, so that's 50 hours a week saved, all on a free app. And not to mention the peace of mind of knowing that we can pull up just about anything any of us have ever written or created in about three seconds. In this video, you'll learn how I use Notion to never miss a video idea, how to structure them, and how to pick the ones you want to run with. How I use Notion to literally half the time it takes to make my videos. How to onboard team members and freelancers with zero hassle. And how to always feel on top of what you do. This creative Notion workflow works for anyone who has just a personal channel, a faceless channel, or if you're like me and you have a plethora of YouTube channels that you manage on a daily basis. This video is sponsored by Notion. <laughs> I wish it was. They didn't respond to me. Okay, so this is my home for all things YouTube. Mission control, as one would say. Uh, a lot of people can overcomplicate this. I've kept this really clean uh, and I've managed it in such a way whereby anybody can understand it and get to grips with how it's set up in pretty much five minutes. So we have some freebies up here that I'll be revealing and giving to you at the very end. But for now, I want to get straight into the meat of it uh, and talk about the first step in the production process of YouTube, which is video ideas. So let me just go on to video ideas here straight away. And I'm actually not going to start on this Notion page because when it comes to YouTube, it's quite all consuming. And what tends to happen is that you start coming up with video ideas when you're not on your laptop or when you're not intentionally searching for video ideas. That's why it is so important that you also have access to Notion on your phone here. The exact same pages that constantly sync up all the time. So if I'm in the shower, I'm not gonna have my phone in the shower, or if I'm just walking about and I come up with an idea, I take out my phone straight away and I just jot it down in this little Notion template we have here. And then it's automatically synced on this and saved for everyone. And there's a few nice little elements to this. We have a ranking system because there's a few of us involved in the team where we all rank ideas based off what we think could work or not. We have a few channels, that's why we have a column here. And also we have an idea regarding the stage that we'll get to in just a second. For instance, if you take a look at this title here, the collapse of Andrew Tate's empire, what we can do is we can also write notes here. So we could say, you know, this is a uh, crap. And then everyone can get a sense whether it's a good or bad idea or not. So every week when we try and summarize our ideas and decide what we're gonna be doing for the next month, all we need to do is have a look at what the top ranked ideas are and discuss which ones are gonna move from idea to production. And when we move it to production, it's then taken away from the top of the list. And once we've decided that, all we need to do is just create a little button up here whereby we can add this video automatically to our home base. For us, it's all about streamlining the entire process. So once we've added that video idea to the home base, what you'll see is you'll find it here on our video board. Now this is a top level view where we can look at our videos via like a Trello board system or via a calendar, which also works very, very well for trying to keep on top of things. Now the video board here is what I'm most proud of with this entire system. Pound for pound, it's probably the most valuable part of this entire Notion setup. Now, if you're here thinking, you know, how the hell am I going to develop something like this? I don't even have a Notion account, never mind, you know, being able to set up these databases and streamline them. Don't worry, I've spent a fair bit of time putting this together on a Notion template that you can just copy and make it available to yourself if you are interested. I will put that link down below. Now, the tax man is currently knocking on my door, so there will be a fee associated with it. About the same as a round of drinks in Ireland. Anyway, stay to the end of the video and you might get a cheeky discount. So this is the video home base and this is my favorite page in the entire Notion setup. This is where we can see a grand top level view of where all our videos are at. So when a video moves from the idea stage that I'm gonna get Daniel, my editor, to blur out because you know, that stuff is quite sensitive and I move it to the scripting side, it means that I know I'm ready to start scripting. And then when I move it to the ready to record sign, it means that I know I'm ready to record. Now, whether you have a team of one or 10, this is really, really helpful for just understanding where everything is at. You can also look at this with different views too. Right now we're in the project status view. We can also go onto the calendar view to see what video is going to be uploaded by when. Very occasionally I'll look at the overview view, but you know, this is a little bit overwhelming at times. So I like to stick to the project status view. Now let's go on to the videos themselves. One of my recent videos I published was if I started YouTube automation in 2023, this is what I do. Whenever we create one of our videos, they always are automatically set up with this template in mind. There's four sections, the video approval process, the packaging process, the research and notes, and the script. 
So before I decide to put, you know, quite a lot of money and quite a lot of time into a video, I need to put it through my own video approval process, just to make sure that I know exactly what the video is about, who it's going to benefit and what the kind of gist of the video is going to be. Again, all of this is set up in the template. Thereafter, we move on to the packaging, which is always, always, always done before you do the video itself for, you know, hundreds of reasons. But I'm doing this in this case. So if somebody in my team wants to see what the video is going to look like from a packaging perspective, they can just go on to the Notion page and look at it here. Research and notes is very handy if I'm doing a topic that involves a bit of research with this one, it didn't. And regarding the script, this is where the majority happens. To start off, I'm always going to develop a raw script. I come up with the idea, I come up with the structure of the video, and I don't think too much about how it's structured. I just write whatever value I think the viewer is going to need. Thereafter, once I'm happy with the structure, I then turn this into an editor script. And the primary reason for this is, number one, I need to be clear in my mind what the video is going to look like especially before I record it because that's quite handy and also to instruct our editor in this case Daniel how to structure the video in the past my videos used to take about two or three weeks to develop because I would send the editor a raw script like this and I'd expect him to know exactly what I want the truth is they don't know what I want because I wasn't clever enough to write it down on paper. And so we probably had six or seven back and forths on frame of him sending me a draft, me sending him back feedback, vice versa, and it was just a painful process. Now, what I do is I structure all of my videos in this format. I break it down almost line by line and give instructions for all of the aspects in the video that I want. So every line is gonna have a different type, whether it's stock footage, B-roll, A-roll, animation. You have the script here in this column, and then I give the editor some instructions. So if I want him to record a green screen background, I use Imager, which is a great tool that I just upload a photo, send him the link, and then he has that photo to use. So he doesn't have to go fiddling around with finding his own stock footage. This works especially well for faceless videos whereby you might be paying someone by the hour. The more time you can save them, the better job they can do in the actual edit themselves. And if I go back and I look at any more of these videos, I know that if I wanted to see this video where I automated the YouTube channel with AI, I could go back, I can have a look at the script, and I can get an idea of exactly what I told Daniel when he sent me back the footage. Right now, it takes us about two drafts to get the final video edited. That's two days versus about seven days of sending drafts. So it's absolutely worth it. And if ever I want to create, you know, a random idea on the fly, all I'd have to do is create new here, go down, select my YouTube template, and then I have all of these pages already pre-set up for me so I don't need to do anything, including all of the scripting and guidelines so you can just concentrate on writing the best script possible. The next element to this workflow is guidelines, which is incredibly important if you are running a faceless or a face YouTube channel. By the nature of running a YouTube channel, you're gonna have a lot of different stakeholders involved in the process. And it's really important that when you're onboarding some of these different freelancers or stakeholders, that they know exactly where to go if they have a question. In the past, what I used to do is onboard somebody, show them a video that we've created and say, go on, off you go and do your thing. That just doesn't work, I'm afraid. One of the most valuable things I've ever done using Notion is actually setting up a guideline framework for anybody being onboarded onto our team, whether it's for my own channel or whether it's for our faces channels. I've done this in a few different ways here. Primarily, it works in three sections, visual, sound, and draft reviews. For draft reviews, I always use a tool called frame.io. Uh, I'll get Daniel to blur out my username and password there. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> uh, same thing here with the sound. But the best thing about this is that if anybody comes onto our channel, they know exactly where to find the music, how to log into the platforms that we use, and what kind of moods that we like to use with the soundtracks we use in the background. Now there's a lot more in this. I've separated this out into all the factors we saw earlier. A-roll, B-roll, stock, animation, motion graphics, and whatever else you'd like to do in your fancy little guidelines. So if somebody's inputting A-roll into my video, b-roll into my videos stock into my videos or text in my videos everyone knows exactly how to do it it probably takes them an hour to read this and it says it's about 10 hours in back and forth if we go back to the home page here again i've already set up this channel guidelines for you where it's just ready for you to fill in yourself and if you want to work with your freelancers longer term you need to inform them who your avatar is that's why in the template that i've made available to you guys i have linked this pound for pound one of the most valuable things I have ever done with my YouTube channel and that's come up with an avatar guideline for myself and for my channel. This is my own way of figuring out exactly who my target audience is and 
and what video titles are going to work for them. I also have a YouTube scorecard where I analyze just about everything to do with a YouTube channel before I start to make sure it's going to be worth my while doing so. This Notion template that I developed has saved me more stress than I even care to think about and hopefully it can do the same for you. So whether you decide to develop a template like this yourself using the referral link that I have down below or whether you decide to buy this exact template from me and make it your own and support the channel which I would be you know eternally grateful for i really hope this is going to help and i did promise you a little surprise at the very start and that is 20 percent off the first 100 people that do purchase this notion template so that's the first step to being successful on youtube having a creative workflow to get your ideas on paper the next step to being successful on youtube is execution actually how do you turn what i have here into videos that can get monetized. If you wanna see how I turned this into a fully monetized channel from scratch in 18 days, I recommend watching this video up here. That's all for me. We will see you in the next one. Aslam.